I'm James Kint, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Chemistry. So my research group works on computational and theoretical approaches to molecular self-assembly. Uh, self-assembly is a process where tens or hundreds or thousands or millions of molecules come together in transient or dynamic aggregates uh, that have interesting shapes and uh, properties. Uh, some of the most relevant and particularly biologically relevant examples of these are uh, lipid bilayers, which are the fundamental basis for cell membranes. That is the outer shell that uh, encloses all of our cells and all of the uh, internal organelles within the cells. They're all based on lipid bilayers. Well, most of the work that gets done in my group is actually done by graduate students or with in collaboration with graduate students. Um, that's the key part of training in our program in the chemistry department is that the students do hands-on research, whether it's in a more conventional chemistry laboratory where they're working with glassware and chemicals and so forth, or whether it's in a computational setting like in, in my group where they're sitting at uh, a workstation and um, and writing computer programs and analyzing the results and, and so forth. One of the things I, I really uh, liked best when I was looking uh, at a job here was that I saw a real dedication to the student. I saw a real dedication uh, among my fellow faculty members to providing a really high level of mentorship and a high level of um, commitment to teaching at all levels, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. I think one of the things that distinguishes uh, the Laney Graduate School as a whole is the degree of commitment they have to providing uh, opportunities for students to travel and to uh, attend meetings, to go to workshops, and to go pursue research opportunities uh, abroad or elsewhere in the United States. Even more common is for students to, to take advantage of uh, the funds from the Laney Graduate School to attend conferences. And uh, because they're not dependent on their advisor's research funds to fund that travel, they're able to start attending national research conferences or even international research conferences at an earlier stage in their career than would be typical at, uh, I think, an average um, PhD program in chemistry.